Now we want to tell you about a story that this one plays out like a Hollywood movie. Ever had a friend that seemed so much like you, you swore that it would be possible you could be related? Well, what if you discovered actually that was the case? freshmen Michaela Stern Ellis and Emily Nappy had a few things in common. Their sense of style, love of theater and science, and the decision to trek all the way from California to Louisiana to attend Tulane University, their perfect school. It was at Tulane that they met this fall, became friends, and soon realized they shared something else quite unique. They were both conceived through anonymous sperm donors from Colombia, South America. Hearing the story and seeing the resemblance in pictures, Michaela's mom suggested the girls compare donor numbers. And lo and behold... Golly! Sisters! Sisters. Bound by friendship, blood, and destiny, Michaela just changed her Facebook page and profile picture to show the world her best birthday present ever. Michaela Sternellis and Emily Nappy are with us now. Sisters, good morning. How good are morning. you? Morning. Does that still Very catch you good. off guard, sisters? Yeah, definitely. it's definitely weird. It's so crazy just like walking around campus calling each other sister. It's one coincidence after the other. You guys meet online in some kind of a roommate questionnaire for Tulane. Yeah. You find out, well, you've got a little bit in common. You met at school. But you weren't best friends at school, no, right? No, we, we actually didn't know each other that well. Um, we were really, we could be really compatible as friends, but we just were never in the right place at the right time. So, um, but we've definitely we'd gotten a lot hi. closer recently. For yeah, sure. we'd for say sure. hi, and I had her number, which is how we ended up communicating in, towards winter break. And yeah. some of your friends noticed the resemblance and would say, you guys almost look like you could be related? Yeah, I think... Um, over over the summer, I posted a status about my Colombian sperm donor, and she messaged me and said, um, I don't want to be creepy, but I also have a Colombian sperm donor. Wouldn't it be funny if we were sisters? Um, before that, before the Colombian sperm donor came in as something in common, did either of you dare to think that it was possible you were related? No. 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 Definitely not. No. Okay. But when she posted that status, I was like, that's too much coincidence and so I messaged her and my family and I like went through all her pictures and we're like do we look enough alike yeah. like could we actually be related and then one of your moms said why don't you check the donor number yeah my mom over winter break I put two of our pictures together and we were in the really in the same position taking the picture and we looked a lot alike and I was showing a lot of people and my mom said you should really check the donor numbers just describe Emily for me the moment when you realized the number was the same I panicked. I thought she was kidding. I, I freaked out. I, I texted her. I was like, Are you, you're, you're joking with me. You're absolutely joking with me. And she told me she wasn't. And I started running around the house screaming and telling everybody, calling people. And you? I was sitting in the dermatologist's office, and it was really quiet, and I wanted so bad to scream. <laughs> um, but it was, I just, I, I, it was mind-blowing. I didn't know what to do. I, you guys, as I said, you were acquaintances, not best friends. Right. Now you find out you're sisters. Mm -hmm. How does the relationship in real terms change overnight? Well, I mean, this whole the media has just picked it up and ran with it. So the only interactions we get to have are three in the morning. Like, this person called, they want an interview. Like, we have to go here, we have to go here. But we definitely, I mean, we see each other multiple times a day now, and we're a lot closer. But is it, was it ever awkward? In other words, I think people assume you're going to go from becoming acquaintances to very best friends overnight. <laughs> that yeah. doesn't just happen. Yeah. So um, have there been awkward moments? I think the very first time we saw each other at first, we, were just, we just didn't really know what to do. Um, but since we're so compatible and since we have a lot in common, I think it really quickly we became best friends um, because that's what we would have done even if we weren't sisters. And I think like there was a moment when I was, we were sitting at dinner and I was like, I don't know your favorite color. I don't know anything about you. And yeah. so we've been catching up. But like I already tell her I love her. And it's been like, what, two weeks? Yeah, only two weeks. And this is not just between the two of you. You each have families. Yes, yes exactly. So what's going to happen? How are those families going to now react to this news? Yeah, well, coming to New York, our families met for the first time. And it's just really, really cool to just gain more family and... Um, they're really excited to merge. They're hanging out without us. Yeah. A lot. Uh, oh, in, in a month, yeah. Do you want to try to find out who that donor was? Um, not anytime soon. 
I don't have any interest. Yeah. I'd like to know what he looks like, but I don't have any interest in meeting him or finding him. But she does. Yeah, ever, ever since I was little, I knew that I wanted to find him someday. And when I turned 18, I was really determined to find him. But since this has happened, like this, I mean, Emily is so much more than I could ever hope for. Yeah, one step at a time, you found each other. Exactly. Congratulations. Exactly. What a delight. Thank you. you two are great. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you so much. She saw a post that I made on Father's Day that said something like, thank you so much, Colombian sperm donor, for the X chromosome. <laughs> and, um, and Sounds she, like a card. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she messaged me right after I posted that and said, I don't want to be creepy, but I also have a Colombian sperm donor. And wouldn't that be funny if we were sisters? So and that's you both thought at that point that it couldn't possibly. No, we definitely, we just ignored it. We, we went all first semester being like, oh, that girl might be my sister. <laughs> <laughs> so winter break, her mom sits down with her and goes, you know what? That's too much coincidence. You should really check that out. And Michaela's like, "Hey, do you do you have your number?" And I didn't. And I was like, it "Doesn't matter. We're not really sisters anyway." The donor anyway. number, right? The donor exactly. number, right? And so then finally, I'm like, "You know what? Let me just find it." My mom had access to it, and so I found it, and I texted her, and she went, "No way." And I was no I was sitting way. in the dermatologist's office, and it was super quiet in there, and I was by myself. And um, I, Emily said she had found the number, and I said, text it to me. And then I texted my mom, and I said, text me my number. And they both texted me at the same time. It was the same number. <laughs> oh, and I just I was just like? staring at my phone. I didn't know what to do. It's the, I think the only way to describe it is mind-blowing because it's just. I thought she was joking. I thought that she was teasing me.